Hi, hello, welcome back to Max Ninjas. Myself, Femi Bijan. In the previous class, we were discussing a new word, square root. And we discussed what is the purpose or what are the situations for finding the square root of a number. In this class, we are going to discuss two methods for finding the square root of a number. First method is repeated subtraction method and the second one is prime factorization method. Both the methods are very easy and first we are going to discuss repeated subtraction method. Okay. Next we are going to find the square root of 81 by using repeated subtraction method. For that write down 81 and subtract Take the first odd natural number that is 1. Subtract 1 from 81. Then we will get 80. Then write down 80 and 80 minus. Take the second number that is 3. 80 minus 3, 77. Then write down 77. 77 minus. Next odd number is 5. Then 72. Then 72 minus 7. That is equal to 65. Then 65 minus 9. That is equal to 56. Then 56 minus 11. That is 45. Then 45 minus next odd number is 13. Then we will get 32. Then 32 minus 15. That is equal to 17. Then 17 minus next odd number is 17. That is equal to 0. For getting 0, how many odd numbers we used? That we are going to find next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We used 9 odd numbers. That means n square is the sum of first n odd natural numbers. Like this, 81 is the sum of first 9 odd natural numbers starting from 1. So, 81 equal to 9 square. This is little bit difficult for you if you are getting or 3 digit or 4 digit number. So, we are going to study one more method that is prime factorization method. My question is how to find the prime factors of 6. You have studied it earlier that 6 can be written as 2 into 3 and 2 and 3 are prime factors. What is the square of the 6? 6 are six, six, 36. Then 36 can be written as 6 into 6, isn't it? So 1 6 can be written as 2 into 3. into then the other 6 again can be written as 2 into 3 so 2 into 3 into 2 into 3 this is the prime factors of 36 then I am selecting one more number that is 12 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 here 2 2 and this 3. These 2, 3 are prime factors. Then what is the square of uh, 12? 144. 144 means we know 12 into 12. Right. 1, 12 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3. So, 2 into 2 into 3 into again. Again we have one more 12 that is 2 into 2 into 3. So prime factors of 144 are 2 into 2 into 3 into 2 into 2 into 3. I am taking one more number 8. 
Prime factors of 8 are 2 into 2 into 2. What is the square of 8? 64. That is 64 equal to 8 into 8. Instead of 1, 8 we can write down 2 into 2 into 2. Then again 1 more 8. Instead of that again 2 into 2 into 2. Here we can see a similarity that see 36 is 6 into 6 and we got 2 2's and 2 3's. To find the square root of 36 that is 6 we have to select 1 2 and this is a pair of 2 and this is a pair of 3. From the first pair we should take 1 2 and from the pair of 3 we should take 1 3. Then we will get 2 into 3 and it is a square root of 36. What is the square root of 144? We know the square root of 144 is 12 and from this pair we should take 1 2 and from this pair we should take 1 3 and from this pair we should take 1 2. These three numbers, multiplying these three numbers, we will get the square root of 144 that is 2 into 2 into 3. That is 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12. Again, here from these two take 1, from these two take 1, from these two take 1. Multiplying these three 2's, we will get the square root of 64. This is the common method of prime factorization. Next we are going to find the square root of 324 by using prime factorization method. So first we should find the prime factors of 324. So first prime factor is 2. Divide it by 2. 162. Again next one is 2. 81. Then don't take 9 because 9 is not a prime factor. Next prime factor is 3. Then again divided by 3. Then 9. Again divided by 3. Then 3. So prime factors of 324 are 324 equal to 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. From these two I am selecting 1. From these pair I am selecting 1. And from this pair I am selecting 1. Multiply these three numbers. Square root of 324 equal to 2 into 3 into 3. That is 18 is the square root of 324. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you have any doubt about this prime factorization or uh, the method of repeated subtraction, please ask to me through comment box. If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe and support me. Signing off for me, Bijoy from Max Ninjas.